Hello everyone and welcome to another What's for Dinner on WW. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what we had for dinner this week on WW, as well as giving you my personal points for each one of these meals. Now this week we tried out a new recipe and we also had a couple of our old favorites. For the recipes that I have previously done full videos on, I will have links to those full videos where you can find the instructions, ingredients, and links to my recipe builder where you can find out what those meals points are for you. You can also find all of that information for the new recipe that we tried out this week down in the description box of this video as well. But let's get started and see what we had for dinner this week. First up is creamy Alfredo mac and cheese, or in this case, penne. I love this one because it's a healthier way to make an Alfredo sauce and it just tastes really good. This starts with a large pan and I'm just spritzing a little bit of olive oil in it. And then I'm gonna add in a bag of frozen rice cauliflower. This is 12 ounces and I've let this mostly defrost. So I'm just gonna add that in there along with a little bit of garlic. And then I'm gonna just cook the two of those together until that cauliflower rice is warmed all the way through. And while I've got my cauliflower rice heating up, I'm also going to boil up some penne pasta. Typically you would use macaroni because this is mac and cheese, but I didn't have any macaroni noodles on hand, so I'm just using the penne. But you're gonna cook that until it's tender, drain it and set it aside. Once your rice cauliflower is heated through, you're gonna to wanna to blend it up. I am just using my Nutribullet here. So I'm gonna add all of that rice cauliflower into it. And then I'm gonna add some evaporated milk, fat free, a little bit of fresh ground black pepper, and a little bit of salt. And then I'm gonna just blend this all together real well. And then once that's blended, I'm gonna add in some Parmesan cheese and then I'm going to blend again until you get a nice creamy consistency like that. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to add it back to my pasta that I've added to my pan. And I'm gonna just stir everything together real well until all that pasta is nicely coated with the sauce. And here is dinner. I've got a serving of that pasta, which is a heaping cup. It makes about six heaping cups. And for me, it's only two points a serving because whole wheat pasta is a zero point food for me. So that makes this really low for me. And as I said before, this stuff is very good. It definitely hits a spot if you're craving Alfredo. And so I really love this one. Also, my son loves this one too. So definitely a family friendly one. I went ahead and just added a little green onions to the top of mine. And then along with this, we are having some steamed broccoli I think this night I didn't add anything to it, just plain steamed broccoli, so zero points for that. And probably an earned veggie point for that. I'm not really counting those anymore, by the way, only because I've noticed some inconsistency with the way that the Weight Watcher app counts veggies. Sometimes it seems like it counts them way higher than they should and gives you way more points. Um, so I'm just not really honestly paying attention to that. But if you are, that would be an earned veggie point which would make my dinner total tonight two points plus one earned veggie point. Next up was a new recipe that I tried this week for diner style meatloaf. I found this recipe on the WW app and my husband's been wanting me to make meatloaf. And this one sounded pretty good. Not that I'm the biggest fan of meatloaf, but it still sounded pretty good. So I went ahead and gave this one a try. This starts with a large skillet. And to that, you're gonna add some finely diced red pepper and onion. And then you're just gonna cook that in there until both of those are softened. And then once those are softened, you're gonna just set those aside and let them cool for about 10 minutes or so. Here I've got a cookie sheet and a silicone bread pan that I'm gonna spray with a little bit of cooking spray. Now the recipe says to just form your own loaf on a cookie sheet, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put mine in this bread pan here and I'm just using the cookie sheet for stability. In a large bowl, I'm gonna add in some ground turkey, my onions and peppers that are cooled, an egg white, some Italian style breadcrumbs, no sugar added ketchup, some granulated garlic, Worcestershire sauce, salt, and fresh ground black pepper. Also a little mustard, 
and then I mixed all of this together real well. And I went ahead and just put on some gloves and used my hands because that was the easiest way to do it. So now I'm gonna take that, add that into my bread pan, just kinda smash it in there, smooth it over, and then add some more ketchup to the top of it and smooth that on the top. Now this is ready to bake at 400 for about 45 minutes or until it reaches an internal temperature of 165. And this is what mine looked like here. And here is dinner. I've got a serving of that, which is an eighth of the total. And for me, that is six points. And I actually really ended up liking this. I think I said in the beginning, I'm not a big fan of meatloaf, but I really did enjoy this. It was pretty good. So along with the meatloaf, we also had some steamed Brussels sprouts, nothing on them. So zero points. And again, that would be probably a veggie point worth earned of veggies or non-starchy veggies. So my dinner total was six points for tonight's dinner. All right, I got my hubby here. It's gonna give this a try. First of all, how do you think it smells? Great, it smells really good. Zoom that off of you a little bit there. You've probably never had a lightened version of meatloaf before, mm -hmm. huh? Mm. Hi, Rocky. You don't get any of that. So I'm a meatloaf fan. Um, you can't tell that that's a... Weight Watchers? A Weight Watchers. Lightened? Yeah. Oh, well, that's good to know. I mean, it smells. Like I said, I don't really care for meatloaf. I haven't had it in a really long time, though. But that smells very good to me, so... I'm thinking I'm gonna like that too, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So that's six points. Should be for you too. Oh yeah. Worth six points? Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, I can't even describe it. It tastes like meat, good, leaf, good meatloaf. Well, I guess that's the objective. You know, All right. Nothing else in the world tastes like meatloaf. Well, and again, I'll be curious to see what I think of it because I've never been a fan. I don't know if it's the bread or breadcrumbs or whatever that, you know, you put in there. Mm -hmm. How's the Brussels? We haven't had Brussels in a long time either. Okay, that was dinner tonight for six points. Like I said, for I think both of us. Next up is pizza pasta bake. I absolutely love this one. This is always in my rotation just because it is so good. I love my pasta. I love my cheese. This has all of that in it. Not only that, but it is kid and family friendly, which is another reason why this is always in my rotation. This one starts with a pound of lean ground turkey. And as usual, I'm using 93% lean, 7% fat. I'm adding a little black pepper to this. And then I'm adding in some chopped up bell pepper and some chopped red onion. And then I just cook all that in there until that onion and bell pepper start to soften a little bit. And then I add in some mushrooms. And here what I'm doing is I'm just kind of breaking those mushrooms up a little bit because they're a little too big. But then I just cook those in there until they start to soften. Over here, I've got a pot with some boiling water and I'm adding in some wheat spaghetti and I'm gonna just cook that until it is al dente and then drain it and set it aside. Back over here at my meat mixture, I'm gonna add in some marinara sauce. Now this is homemade marinara sauce. I used to do this with jarred, but this homemade stuff is a lot lower in points. So this is typically what I use now. I will link the recipe for that up above and down below if you haven't seen that. And to that, I'm gonna add a little bit of oregano some basil, and then I'm gonna just stir all that together really well and let this continue to cook and kind of simmer for a few minutes. Once your pasta is cooked and drained, you're gonna add in some Parmesan, a couple of beaten eggs, and then you're gonna mix that all together really well. Then you're gonna take a 13 by nine inch casserole dish, spray it with some cooking spray, and pour your pasta into the dish. Then you're gonna kind of spread that in the bottom and kind of press it down. Next, you're gonna add some ricotta cheese to the top of the pasta, and then you're gonna kind of spread that in there. 
Once you've got that spread in there, you're gonna follow it up with your meat sauce. You're gonna just pour all that on top and then spread that evenly. Next, you're gonna add some part skin mozzarella, some more Parmesan, and then finally, you can add some turkey pepperoni if you want. I like this little added touch, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. So now this is ready to go in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. And here it is done. And here is dinner tonight. Now that is a serving, which is a 12th. And for me, with the homemade marinara sauce, it is six points. If you use a jarred sauce that I have in the recipe builder, because I can't add my marinara sauce in there, it's gonna be a point higher per serving. Along with that, I'm also having a side salad. And again, you could count this as an earned veggie point. I'm having a little bit of that Bolt House Farms dressing on that, just about a point's worth, maybe even a little less actually. So that's gonna make my dinner total for tonight seven points. And that was everything that we had for dinner on WW this week. I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe got some ideas. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you on the next one.